purchase this wig style from Wig Studio One. You can find it there too. All you have to do is expand the description box below. You'll find a direct product link. If you click on that link, it will take you out to the site where you can explore all of the colors and pricing. Ellen Villa styles are always a 30% off at checkout at Wig Studio One. If you have any questions, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. So let's check out this posh new pixie by Ellen Villa. It's called Ring in the color light champagne rooted. I don't know about you, but I am so excited to see some new pixies coming on the market. It seems like we've been in a bit of a drought in terms of pixies lately. It seems like there are more long styles coming on the scene. So this is really a breath of fresh air. And for those of you out there that love Ellen Villa for their legacy fit on their pixies, meaning more of a petite to average type fit, this ring is going to fit you very nicely. Ring is a part of the Elements Collection by Ellen Villa. So uh, these are a series and collection of styles that seem to be a little more affordable, kind of a no fuss, no muss, very easy to apply and wear. This pixie has tons of personality. Just look at all of these PC longer layers in the front. It has a beautiful a silhouette in the back with some PC layering that follows through. It's kind of a boy cut, meaning that it's slimmer in the temple, slim through the back and the nape, and it has a little bit of height on top. What we're looking at is in the front about a four and a half to 4.75 inch fringe. Okay, now that fringe is adorable. First of all, you'll notice that it does give a little bit of an asymmetrical look. Gotta like that. And then there's a wispy appeal to that fringe as well. So it's a very light density overall, but in particular, right around the face. So it just kind of coils around and frames the eyes, covers up other things that you don't like. I just love how it frames the face. And then in on the top, you're going to see those layers kind of gradually move back into a three and a half inch crown. And so your longer PCR layers in front, moving back into that three and a half inch crown, tapering down into a two inch nape. Now that nape is two inches, but I beg you to, to consider that it's really pretty long. So the cap comes really far underneath the occipital bone on me, which a two inch layer beyond that is going to be ample to cover up all of my hairline. Slimly tapered. The nape kind of hugs around the ears for good coverage. It stays put when you're moving around. It's a really beautifully natural looking wig style, I think. So you've got about a two and a half inch layer here on the sides. Now this is a kind of a no fuss, no muss type of cap. It's completely open except for a little bit of a monofilament right there at the crown. That kind of gives the illusion of natural growth because natural hair will kind of grow out around the crown and swirl up there. Um, and if you happen to be taller than me, most people are, if you look down, you might be able to glimpse the illusion of scalp. So I rather like a little bit of a monofilament crown because it gives a more natural look than if it were a permatized crown. This style weighs about two ounces, so it's super lightweight that is very consistent with a very light wispy density overall. Each one of these fibers is really fine in texture. And there's a little bit of built-in body or wave to this. So you're gonna see a little bit of that on top. And then that waviness kind of carries through the back. And I think that waviness just gives, uh, gives some structure to that to that texturizing. A lot of times if you texturize and make it a really light density, the fibers will fall flat towards the head. But let's talk about light champagne rooted. I really enjoy this color. It's really super cool. It's a blend of some platinum and some really pale watery uh, gold blonde. And then that is on a medium brown root. So the color story just overall looks like a rooted platinum. So you've got the illusion of regrowth pretty much all over the style. And then if you get close, you can kind of see this flex of a very watery baby gold blonde, but it's really not enough to warm this up. This is a super cool 
light champagne rooted. So a little later in the video, I will show you a look at the inside of this cap, but just know that it fits more petite average. So I have a 21 and a quarter inch circumference. I did cinch it in just a hair to accommodate that circumference. So I think your ideal um, fit on this would be somewhere around 21 and a half inches. It could probably stretch to 22. Beyond that, I would just have no way of measuring. So before we move on, let's chat just a bit about the permatease. A lot of you want to know about the permatease and there's just enough permatease on the style to prop up the profile, meaning you've got a little bit of a higher top and crown, and then it's slimly tapered on the sides and back and nape. So you're gonna find a little bit of permatease on the top to cover wefting and provide a little bit of lift. I believe it would Inside look at the cap for Ellen Villa's ring. This is a wonderfully made and constructed cap. Very super comfortable. You've got a front piece here that is made from velvet. It has a little brush of fiber built in right there. Sometimes they call that a hidden weft. It gives you a nice looking hairline from the front. Then you have a piece of rose lace material that's covering up the wefts on the top. And then about a 50 cent piece size a monofilament piece right at the crown. You have a brushed velvet ear tab, closed ear tab, and in the back you've got this wonderful felted nape and Velcro style adjusters. Lots of wefting, but not a whole lot of stretch. Again, I believe this is made for that petite to average size. Most pixies, I do expect glasses to play very well with them. I have a chunky arm framed uh, reader glasses here and those arms fit beautifully between the ear and the ear tab. So a very easy wig style for glasses wearers for sure. So I'm just gonna manipulate this. We're gonna try to get some volume. I'm gonna try to smooth it out because I know that you all like to wear these types of styles in a variety of ways. So I'll try to give you a glimpse of all of your options on this pixie. And thank you so much for joining me today at Taz's Wood Closet. We'll see you again real soon. Thank you.